My father left me this house and the mortgage when I was 18. Along with his first edition of Audubon Birds of America, a dying mother, a 12-year-old sister, and a 7-year-old brother. And fairly serious bowel issues. I didn't do a great job raising my little brother and sister. Most people would agree that at least one of them is unstable, possibly insane, unless you ask the other one, who can't be considered reliable. Whenever you look at it, life is an awful lot of shit. Hello? What time is it? I'm sorry. What? Did... Hmm. I just found your photography. Hey, sis, it's me. Hey, how's it going? Listen, Jay. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't want you to worry, but... Well, he was beat up and hospitalized. Uh uh. And then he was slightly, he's fine, run over, but he's totally fine. Uh uh. Don't worry, I'll keep you posted. Good luck with the job and don't eat while you're driving. And no more hitchhikers, right? Call the school or Paul? Okay, it's just not great timing. Well, have I ever missed a class in what seven years? What can I do? No, but Mwah. why do you always have to deal, huh? Why can't Ida deal with something for once? Ida is nowhere near here, and she's on her way to a shoot, a paid one. Oh well, a paid shoot—that would be a life change. So, um, are you going to be long? I'll call you when I know what's happening. Okay, just drive carefully. A lot. No, thank you.
Don't you want to get settled? I don't live here. You moved? About a month ago. Then what? Are you doing drugs again? We can do another rehab. I told you, Maury, I no longer try to heighten or dull my senses artificially. I'm really a new person. And where exactly does this new person live? This is where I sleep. I uh, gathered leaves for the mattress, which you wouldn't believe how comfortable it is. What are you eating? The future is in the ground. I planted seeds. I want to live clean. I'm not a burden out here. Burden? Hear the birds? I sit. I see snakes. There's a, there's a beaver. You believe that, Maury? A beaver? I'm good, Maury. What, were you afraid to call again for cash? No. I want to try having less. See what my life would be like without all the stuff, noise. Where is your stuff? Give everything away. Everything? Every last thing. Uh huh. Not Dad's first edition of Audubon Birds of America. Not your card collection. What if you took a break and stayed with us for a bit? Please. Nice lunch break. Do you need a oh, hand? No, thank you. I'm, I'm okay. How's the little one today? He's sleeping, thank goodness. It was a rough oh, night. Well, you should take a, a, a nap and I'll watch him. Oh, I, once I finish with this disaster. Oh. Um, hey, Paul said Maury wasn't in school. Is it an emergency? Yes, well, what else would keep Mr. Dedication out of school, right? Everything okay? Well, yeah, no, Jay had an accident. No. It wasn't his fault. The poor thing got clipped by a car. It oh ran a red light. Oh my gosh, no. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be okay. Maury's gonna bring him home for dinner. Oh. <laughs> Is only Jay coming home? Of course. Okay, cause I, well, you know, Paul loves you guys. It's just that the- No, I know, and I agree. What is it with Maury's family and accidents? <laughs> oh, duty calls. Uh -oh. Okay, um, well, I'll see you in a little while. Yep. change before we no. No. okay all right I am gonna fix you some... is that meat meat or is that soy meat soy meat yeah are you a vegetarian a vegan oh I'm sorry I didn't know well that's okay Jay can have a Caesar salad and some garlic bread? Uh, I'm a vegan. No animal products. You go ahead. Not even cheese or butter? Milk is for calves. To suckle. 
Honey, why don't you sit down and I'll, I'll find something. How about some oatmeal? Great. Can't have oatmeal for dinner. Why not? We'll get some veggie stuff. We'll stock up. Stock up? Okay. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Paul and Laura got a dog that relieves itself on our lawn many times a day. can't do anything we'd like to. Really, not yet. Paul is one of the faculty members who recommended me for tenure. And he's on the board of regents, and he golfs with the provost. And I need his support. No, it's not what you need. Let me get those dishes done. Your room's all ready for you, Jay. I left clean towels on the bed. I think I'm gonna stay in the attic. Why? There's nothing up there. The cot still up there? Oh, Jay, you might as well sleep on the ground. I really think you'd be more comfortable in your room. I'd like to stay in the attic. Okay. I'll give it a quick sweep. You know what I really don't want to find? I really don't want to find my little brother swinging from a rafter in the attic. I already told you, Maury. Just because I was laying in the road doesn't mean I was trying to... Did you fall down? Did you pass out? Were you trying to... Feel. five-year-old daughter was sexually assaulted last week is asking other parents to make sure their children use the buddy system and know how to remember. That's a nice name, don't you think? How about Cope Nose? You okay? What's going on? Are you all right? Jay? I called Ida and she said she's gonna come stay with us for a bit. Hello. Good morning. Isn't that great? Hi. Good morning. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm good. How's a little angel? Oh, he's a beautiful little boy. Beautiful. Hi, Maura. Oh, hi. hi, Maury. How's it going? Mm. How's Jay? Mm. He's better than ever. Oh, hi. Hi. Welcome home. Mm. So nice to see you. Really? <laughs> well, yeah, really. Hey, you want to meet my little guy? Here, here. Say hi. Uh, here. Oh. Hi, Jay. <laughs> Is he 
you okay? Yeah, either way. I mean, his head's misshapen. Jay. Oh. Is it a condition? Okay. Sorry, I had a little accident and we think there might be some brain, you know. Oh, you know. What the hell are you doing? Well, I... Are you trying to sabotage me? The truth can set you free, Maury. No tenure can set me free. Okay, I'm not even sure he's conceived properly. So. Really? Well, to take a sabbatical or even a vacation for the first time in seven years. I'll call you later. Okay. Sorry. We're gonna be late. Do me a favor. You know the pin number. Go buy yourself some clothes or some soy nuts or mashed fish oil. Acceleration, as we know, refers to the change of velocity over time. SI unit of acceleration is meters per second squared, or... Since the average speed of an object is determined by dividing the distance the object travels by the... We are out of... Time. Still here? Yeah. Grant application. I spoke to Laura at lunch. She told me Jay's not doing too well. Man, you poor guy. Yeah. Thanks. How you do it? Some kind of brain injury? Well, I, I don't know about that, but something seems to be awry. I think he was very insulting to Laura today. No. Betty and I both feel terrible. We don't have to have dinner. No. I mean, I wouldn't care, but Laura. Of course. I mean, maybe Jay could just... Oh, yeah, sure. He wouldn't want to come. I mean, he'd be fine not coming. Great. You are really something. Heroic. I mean it. I mean it. I do. I mean, Jay's always been kind of... Well, he was just a little kid when Dad died. Yeah. And Mom, right away. That's true, and uh, these things can, you know, be in the genes. Anywho, you must be doing something right. You're looking awful damn good for someone so beleaguered. I'll see you later. Well, I just don't think this is the ideal time for you to come home. Sabotage my life. Have not saying anything. What's wrong? Nothing. I just, I thought that you were one of two people who actually wanted me to come home. Of course. I always want you to come home. I know. Well, I'm glad you understand. Jay's going to be here for a while, at least a month. I would like to accommodate you, Maury. I really would. There's just one problem. Hey. Oh my God. 
go, right? You look terrible. So do you. I do? No, you don't. Yeah, you look tired. No, she doesn't. Well, I haven't slept at her all night. Still eating yourself. I wish. You look beautiful. I do? Gosh, Ida, it's been ages. You look great. I do? Hi, Ida. Hi, Betty. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> It's so weird being back here. Because of Gary? Ida, your room is all ready. There's fresh towels on the bed. Thanks. I think I'm going to stay in the basement, if that's okay. It's out of control down there. Mm. I don't mind. It's too bizarre staying in my old room. Nancy. Well, we just sat down to dinner, but uh, what, what's Why up? Why is it bizarre? Um, I don't know. Uh -huh. Isn't it weird sleeping in mom and dad's room? Really? No, that that is strange. I'll call you back when we're done. All right, thanks, Nancy. Sorry. That was Nancy Kennedy on the phone. Jay, she says you gave her something today on Brock Street. Nancy Kennedy, is she um, uh, is she the blonde with the? false chest implants i think so i wondered about that i don't remember any nancy kennedy you don't the blonde with the false anyway, chest anyway she said jay gave her twenty dollars she said you gave a lot of people twenty dollars there's 25 a lot of people you gave 25 people twenty dollars i hope i i know that's not the five hundred dollars i gave you Honey, why did you do that? Another bill for the washer dryer came today. Okay. There's a lot of bills actually that are piling up. Okay. Have your new washer and dryer made you happy? Yes, Jay, they have. Would you like to know why? I would. Because now, I don't have to spend 20 minutes in the morning before I go to work at the bank scraping soap particles and residue off Maury's clothes and my clothes. Because now, I have a washing machine that doesn't bump or quake or travel halfway across the basement when you put more than three items in one load. I remember that. It's like possess. Because now I have a dryer, which is just that, a dryer. A device that removes significant amounts of moisture from clothing and renders them completely and not just partially dry. So yes, my new washer and dryer have made me very happy. Okay. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Maury's always helped you, hasn't he, Ida? I mean, every time you've called, every six months or so. I will pay him back eventually. You can pay him back now. Leave tomorrow, Ida, please, first thing. You just say that to me. I know, and I'm sorry, but I, I know you understand. How many years have you guys been 
tiptoeing around Paul and Laura. Is this my parents' creme de menthe? I don't know. It was there when Maury and I started dating. Maury's a great teacher. Paul is not going to punish him just because I came to see Jay. Is that the only reason you came? I mean, Ida, please. Just please stay away from Gary's for the next couple of weeks. I mean, he's really been doing well. You know, he's finally back up on his feet. Yeah, I was back on his no, feet. No, I was normal. Ooh, he's he's feeling feet. normal, and it has been two years, Ida. I mean, two years, you never even called him. If you mess with Gary now, if you mess with Gary's engagement, Paul's already furious with Maury. Th that would just be it for us, unquestionably. Oh, sweetie. Oh, surely you, you heard. Gary is, is marrying Ellen Thomas. doing down here who is that well well who I actually think it was Phil it was Phil I was a Phil sex you should try it it's fun you know what they say Maury everything in moderation including moderation and loosen your belt a bit the robe Loosen your robe. Uh, you don't want to see that. Well, I've seen it, but that's not what I meant. Of course, you've seen it. When did you see oh, it? Jay and I used to look out the window and you'd sneak out back and go by the bush. And, you know, kids. You need to think about your behavior. It isn't safe. Well, you know, you could get tenure tomorrow after seven years of inhaling Paul and Lara's farts and get hit by a meteor, a meteorite, and like, you know, life is short. Life isn't that short. The average lifespan of a male in North America is 70. It's the average lifespan of this family. Well, I've chosen a plan for my future. As for fun, you and Jay can keep living it up in ravines and what? pretending to be artists and photographers. I am a photographer. You look exhausted. Well, I just haven't been sleeping. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry about what I insinuated. I'm sure that you and Betty have a wonderful sex life. We do have it. How do you get run over without breaking a bone? Carefully. I don't want to have to, but he could hurt himself or someone else. Well, what? Commit him? He's not mentally ill. He's emotionally ill. No, we not have Ill. He's to be careful. Sometimes these things run in families. Except Dad was not crazy. Dad had an accident, and Dad was eccentric, and so was Jack. Dad was more than eccentric. Go to sleep. Yes, Dad. Ida.
Watching pornography. <laughs> that was pretty funny, huh? Lord! What's going on? The clothes are in the wash. They were getting kind of wet. Why are you lying down on the road? You're depressed. Like wanting to kill yourself depressed? No. Sure. When you're little, you're clean. And there's electricity in your fingertips. And then you, you steal up. You pour shit inside and buy things. And God stockpiled us already. I just don't want to wake up and turn into that. All right. We all have to take care of him. He's so fucking fragile. Hey. You think you need to be on something? Honey, if you're gonna live totally outside the lines, All the people moving on the inside of them are going to flatten you. I think you are a genius. But you've got to lighten up. Sunday's my birthday. Hey, are you still here? It would appear so. So, you got yourself a full house now. Yeah, came in to see Jay. You poor guy. I heard her roll in last night around three. Sorry. No, not me, you I feel bad for. How old is she now, Jesus? Oh, she's gonna be, wow, 32. Phil Anderson can't be more than 22, 23. So I guess you'll want to cancel dinner Sunday night. No, no. Of course. But Ida won't be there. Well, you do what you want, kiddo. I mean, you know, you're my best friend. I just, uh, I love you. I love you, too. I can't imagine. I mean, I don't think she'd have the gall to contact my brother. No way. I know you'll see that that doesn't happen, but having to be the grown-up all the time still, 
That you? Let that genie out of the bottle, big guy. God damn it, to help. It's okay, it's okay. Well, that's twice today no, no, already. come on, we'll take care of it after dinner now. I thought you were going to change clothes. I wash these. So, um, the weekend? Yes. So, guys, Betty and I would like to treat both of you to dinner Sunday night at Shiitake. Yum. What's the occasion? Paul and Laura are coming over. So you want us to clear out? Well, it's been set up for a month. We have to do it. You don't mind, do you? Hmm. I don't have to clean up their shit. Stop moving your foot. She was the fifth child accosted in a month. Police are asking anyone with information to contact authorities as the suspect is still at... Maybe we don't have to wait for tenure. <laughs> Maybe we should just start trying, you know? Sometimes it takes a long time. We have to wait for tenure. Honey. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Time to get up. Isn't it Sunday? I know. We have so much to do, honey. They're going to be here at 6.30, and we have to marinate and clean and fix the garden. And, you know, I think some of the stuff where we've hung it is just not in the right place. Maybe we should just switch it around, you know, just a little bit in the living room. But I'm not sure if I have the right nails, you know, the ones that don't make the really bad hole. Can we redo this someday? I like it. It's just so obviously old. Yeah. How's a hundred dollars? It's too much. Oh, I want you to have a nice dinner. No, oh, no, 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 have fun. Don't. You cannot tell Maury. But did you know? that he was born with a little teeny tiny vestigial tail. <laughs> he was not. Uh, Mom told me it happens once in a while. It was like an inch and a half long. <laughs> she swore to me. <laughs> she did. She swore to me. They had to have it removed surgically. <laughs> Too bad he didn't keep it. <laughs> At least we wouldn't know when he was happy. <laughs> so I look over, and the kid is like covered head to toe in strained carrots. Oh. In Ten seconds, I didn't have my eye on him. All over. Can I top you off there, young lady? Oh, yeah, just a splash. I don't want to get Brandon drunk. Uh -huh. oh, these are so good. Thank you. It's real lime. Oh, maybe just a little, a little more. <laughs> oh, good. It well, time to light the eternal flame. Hello? Anyone here? Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, I need to find Jay. Is he, is he here? Sweetie, um, Jay isn't here right now, but why don't you pop around tomorrow? We'll give him a message. Who should I say? His wife. But I can't pop around tomorrow. I hitched from the city, and I need to see him tonight. It's really, really important. Well, I'm sure whatever it is could wait. You don't understand. The cops are looking for him. They want his DNA. 
Well, that's absurd. Why would they want that? That's... They said he got arrested last week for touching a little girl. She is not staying here. Calm down. Calm down. We don't need to put Jane in an institution. This is already an institution. Oh, well, God. She'll just stay here until we talk to Jane, clear what, things what, up. What, what, clear what? We're fucked. We're totally fucking fucked. I, 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 how many years have we been kissing their asses? And for what? I mean, did you see their faces as they ran for cover? We're pariahs. We're totally fucked fucking pariahs. Okay. The big <sighs> issue right now is Jane. No! No! The issue is me for once. It's me. I don't even know how many eggs I have left. Eggs? Oh, God, oh. look at you. It's just the last thing on your mind. Calm down. No, I'm not calming down. I'm going to Nancy Kennedy's, and I'm going right now, and I do not want you to try to stop me or try to change my mind, so shut up. Are you... Shut up! Taking the car! I don't think he's in there. Is she there? I think it's safe to go home now. Hey, do you ever wonder if Paul bought the house next to ours because he has a thing for Maury? Here. Uncle. So, how long have you and Jay been married? Six months and three days. It's not going so great, though. No, all marriages have their difficulties. He stopped having sex a couple months ago. He said, all desire leads to suffering. Then he stopped talking, only wrote notes, and then he that up and move to the ravine. No, well, maybe not the same difficulties. I really, really miss him. I'm pretty sure he never molested that kid. It's late. Where were you? It's 11. What's wrong? Your wife is here. Why? She said you're under suspicion for sexual assault of a child. Passed out in your old room. Did you know they want your DNA? No, it's gotta be a mix What's up, going Jay. On? Jay. Hey, come back here, you young man. You have to sort this out, honey. Hey, you come back down here this instant. Wife. He has completely. What am I supposed to do? We have to call the cops. We have to find his old shrink. I can't take another situation in this family. Oh, we're back at Dad's accident. You again. cannot fall out of that window. It was snowing. Snow doesn't suck people out of windows. He was trying to fix something. What needed to be fixed? Oh, he had a, a leak. You have leaks. He was trying to shoot a bat out the window. We all he jumped on his head. No. He would never have wanted us to see him like that. He wasn't thinking he had shut down. No, no more than... Me? Any of us. You meant me. I wish they were here. Go to bed. It's late. Yes, Dad. No, don't. I was Dad. So don't say that. I know. You think I wanted? No. I know you didn't want to take care of us. It's not that. Yes, it is, Maury. It is that. That is the thing. So say it. Say the truth. For once. It's not going to blow the world to smithereens. You don't have that kind of power.
Good night. I love you. Baseball card. He didn't give everything away. He couldn't because somewhere in there he's still Jay. He's still connected. What are we doing? Uh, we just remembered that today is my birthday, and as a special birthday gift to me, I was hoping that you guys would smoke this joint with me. Okay. Condensed version of Manifest Destiny. Paul and Laura gave that to us. What could we give them? Gonorrhea. You know, whatever happens, we're still going to love you. We need a birthday toast. I can go see what we have. <clears throat> you know, it's funny. My wife is gone, and your wife is upstairs sleeping. I mean, not ha-ha funny. <sighs> Those dads. Time to kill this fucker. I can't believe you have a wife. What were you gonna tell us? Nothing to tell, really. She wanted to get married, so I married her. She seems nice. She is nice. She's kind of dopey. Don't 
can't say that about your wife. <laughs> That's true. <clears throat> but sometimes, sometimes kindness is wiser than truth. Khalil Gibran. Columbo. <laughs> Lieutenant Columbo. I don't know why I always remembered that line. To Ida, happy birthday, sis. since I've had a bowel movement. That's a true story. <laughs> ah. Going to see my woman. Bring her home. Maury? <clears throat> Maybe Dad was sad because Mom was sick. Since when have you had trouble sleeping? Two years ago. when I left. You're not going to see him. Jesus, you can't wait a month. I'll have tenure then. Gary, we'll be married. Are you serious? Settling down here was too dull for you. Well, guess what? Life with Gary now will be a lot less fun than it was two years I ago. I know that. Shh. Fun isn't fun anymore. Shh. Oh, Christ, Maury, how long are you going to let Paul give you purple nurple? You remember that? You remember the bruises? It's like having sex with the mummy. Me. Mm. What? I thought we were going to be honest with each other. your mommy. It's just Mr. Chonka. Can't come to uh, say hi. What are you doing? Why are you wet? I guess the Morrison's got an automatic sprinkler system. Go home before somebody sees you. I need to talk to you. Not, not now. I need to talk to you. I want you to come home. Start our family. I don't care if you get tenure or not. Well, I thought we agreed that we needed a 
more stable and secure environment before we embarked on all of that. I'm doing all of this for you. I know. But I just want to be a mom. Oh, God. This hasn't all been an excuse, has it? And don't you want to have children with me? Yes, of course I do. It's not that. I, I'm just... I'm, uh... We can manage. No, it's not that. It's everything. My father and Jim. I... I just wish there was some kind of prenatal screening for... But you can't screen for what happens in this family. No, you can't. Maybe you're not ready. Maybe you should go off and have your insane youth. So you never got to have it. I never thought of that. You should think about it. Okay. Well, you'll let me know. Honey. No, it's... Just let me know when you're ready. I, I said okay. Can you just wait? Been waiting. Don't get up. You want to come in? down the photos I did. You look good. You do. You look really good. How's your brother? Jay? Yeah, I heard he was cracking up a bit. Yeah. He wasn't cracking up a bit. I know I am. So listen, there's something I have to tell you. Don't worry about it. No, no, no. It's, please. It's important. Um, a couple of months after I left, I, uh, I realized I shouldn't have. I mean, I was thinking about coming back. And uh, I was just about to call. When... And then I was afraid to come back because I thought that you'd think that, that I was just coming back because of that. Out of like guilt or pity or something. And I thought, I thought you'd hate that. Thing is, I thought for sure you'd come back after. Every time the door to my room had opened, I, I always expected it to be you. I know. <laughs> I know, I should have. I should have. I wish I had. I was really looking forward to telling you to fuck off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Anyway.
It's okay. It's okay. Hey, shh, shh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. <laughs> Fuck. Keys, she's my keys. Don't leave. We need to talk. I need your help. I don't need your help. I don't know what to there is an equal and opposite reaction. Yeah. Oh, well, look who finally made it. Rough morning, car trouble. So, a couple things. First, we felt, I'm sorry, we had to alert the authorities as to Jay's whereabouts, just in case. Sure. Someone has to protect the innocent and vulnerable. Second, do you know where your little sister was this morning? I'm pretty sure she was at Gary's. I drove by on my way in and I saw her car parked in front. I would have stopped, but I didn't want to be late for class. My lateness this morning was unavoidable. I'm just... It never happened before and it won't happen again. Your lateness is secondary. What do you want me to say, Paul? You said you would ensure that I'd have stayed away from my brother. I'm just disappointed. I trusted you. We're friends. I could consider you my best friend. I don't know what you think. You didn't deliver, and that says something about your character. Okay. I'm sorry, but I can't control Ida. She's an adult, and so is Gary. And even if Ida went over there, I'm sure he could handle it. No, he can't. Okay, she's poison to him. She's already smashed his life to shit once. Okay. I'm getting a little tired of Ida being blamed for what happened to Gary. Oh, you are? Yeah. Gary chose to get hammered and drive his car 100 miles an hour. How is that Ida's fault? He wouldn't have done it if she hadn't taken off on him like some wanton slut. Okay, don't, <clears throat> don't talk about my little sister that way. Oh, come on, Maury, you know it's true. Ida's always been a total tramp. What Ida does says nothing about my character. What Gary does says nothing about Ida's character. There is such a thing in America as personal responsibility. You know what? You know what? Ow! Take it back. Ow, Take ow, it all ow, back. Ow! Take it all back. Ow. Is that what you like? That what ow, you I'm fine. Take it back. I, I take it back. Ah! You're fucking psychotic, pal. Just like the rest of your sick old family. Yes, but we're nicer than you. What the fuck? Someone has to protect the vulnerable and the innocent.
Hey. Hi, Ida. Hi. How are you? I'm sorry. I must have not enough for a bit. No worries. Uh, would you like some coffee? Are you hungry? No, I have to run. Are you sure? Well, it's nice to see you. You look good. Thanks. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> and you too. I mean, I heard you're a big photographer now. No. No, not really. I heard that too. Oh, uh, I've been exaggerating to Mori about some stuff. Oh, yeah. I still take photos. And I exhibit here and there, but to pay the bills mostly, I survived doing these glamour shots of transvestites. <laughs> Seriously? Well, I did one for a friend and word spread, so. Well, that's, that's all right. Yeah, it sounds interesting. Anyway, I should go. Oh, wait, I have something for you. If we'd have known you were gonna be in town, we would have sent it earlier. I really hope you can make it. It's so nice of you to offer. I think I'm gonna be gone by then. <clears throat> anyway, I don't think Paul and Laura would approve. Well, it isn't Paul and Laura's wedding, is it? So tough shit for them. <laughs> right, baby? Exactly right. I really have to run. Spaghetti. -o. Jay, no.
please put the gun down? Ida? Will? It's Phil. Uh, how you doing? I, I had a great time the other night. Would you mind terribly calling us an ambulance, please? Phil? They say, put ice on it. You have to keep it clean. No, what did the police say? They asked me some questions. They took a DNA swab. They're doing everybody and their grandmother. It's well, not just then me. Why did you run? Habit? Well, everybody and their grandmother weren't arrested last week. For... Why don't you tell us what happened? Touched a little girl. I had this idea about how I was going to touch people. I did touch people. hospital they gave me stitches but because mama bear gave me such a concussion I had to stay up all night so in the morning I went for a walk and that's when I laid down you were really up well I'm relieved that you're not a child molester but you can't just go around touching people people need to be jolted now people need to be comforted you don't comfort them by satisfying your own curiosity about breaking down boundaries and rules. Some people really like their rules. They've chosen them. And you don't get to choose what rules other people obey or not. They do. You see? This is what I mean. This is exactly what I'm talking about. They are breaking my rules. They are breaking my boundaries. And you, you are just like them, Jay. You are a terrorist, and I am sick of everyone. Ah! Are you okay? Maury? Maury? Did that. 
Excuse me? Maury just did that on my lawn. What? Yes, I saw it, Betty. Maury just shat on my lawn. No. Yes. Attacked Paul at school today. He went crazy. He did? Yes. Look. He's sick, honey. And now I, I don't blame you, but someone needs to clean that up. I need you or Maury to clean that up. Please, in the next 10 minutes, I, yes, please. <gasps> Fuck off, Laura. What? You clean it up. <gasps> oh, no. What? <laughs>
Thank mm-hmm. you.